bars, keep them on the rim, keep them wanting more, eating out my hand, don't look at the score, don't look in the score. So you can sort of feel an uptick in terms of the crowd energy. A lot of these fans came to watch this man who you think has the skill set to be a future UFC champion. I do, John, and I will go on record saying it. I believe this kid has a huge future ahead of him. He has a ton of skills. He checks all the boxes. He's got the wrestling. He's got the grappling. He's got the cardio. He's got the toughness. He can do it all, but it is on him now to make good on all the work that him and his team have done to put him in this position. And the UFC, as you well know, does a masterful job with the matchmaking. When a fighter is this hype and gets to this point of their career, they give him a guy who they think can beat him. We'll see how he handles this challenge tonight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Hang on! And there's Herb Dean, he will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, here we go, round one, and it's hard not to get a little bit starstruck when Fedor Emelianenko graces the proving ground. As for the matchup, DC, a lot of people believe these two heavyweights are as evenly matched up as any two in the division, and I'm not sure if Emelianenko is going to be able to get his takedowns with relative ease here tonight, so maybe it'll be the power, the discipline from Fedor on the feet that gets the job done tonight. Either way, just a special treat to have these two heavyweights engaging in front of all he turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping to. All right, so he's setting up for a submission here. Oh, that guillotine choke is tight. Oh, somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. And there you go, again, half guard. Just because he got taken down doesn't mean he ain't gonna punch. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. We've seen you go to this a couple times, no? This is one of my favorite techniques. I got Vulcan Ozdemir here, and I just landed punch after punch after punch. They didn't have to be hard, but if you can land 30, 40 strikes in a row, the referee will have no choice but to finish the fight. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Win the scramble! Win the scramble! 
Oh, he's got to be careful there. Yep. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big grounded pound. Oh, he's, oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. You gotta be kidding me, he's out. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. That's a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, that's good. They're going at it now. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Back to the jab now, no good. Single leg takedown. Just over two minutes, round one. Going for a submission now, or so it appears. He's looking to finish, John. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. We may get a finish here by triangle. He beat him so soundly with his hips that all he's got to do now is squeeze, and he'll get the finish. Oh, he got out. Pin his arm. He's got to be a crucifix. Side control now. Ooh, looks like another submission attempt now. That Darce choke is tight. He's been choking. There it is. It's work. I'm gonna stand oh, he got out. He got out. He defended. John, I thought it was over. I thought it was done. It was so tight. It was deep. They were hip to hip. I thought the fight was done. Great job and awareness by this young man to defend that Darce choke. up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. Might be a submission attempt here, Jim. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Another ground and pound strike lands. Emelian goes right back to the full mount here. Ground and pound the hammer Mark Coleman would be proud. Well, you know, I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the key at some point in his life with the way that he moves. So for Fedor's looking for a Darce choke here. That Darce choke is tight. Oh, he's out. Making all these shots count. Round one winding down here. Got the ground and pound going now. That horn sounds me as we have reached the end of round one. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself. And look at his coaches. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. So there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough you that your chin is. Ready. All right, round two. Big and kick. some separation. Huge connection there. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. 
All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. Oh, man, this is wild. These guys are both throwing everything with fight-ending intentions. That one connected. fight. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Now inside the close guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Beautiful ground and pound. And it looks like he has a cut now. Oh, it looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here. Triangle now, DC. We'll see if he can close the show. Oh, the triangle is in. And not only does he have the triangle, if his opponent circles the wrong way, he can even attack an arm bar. This is a very big advantage position for this fight. Nice shots landing from the top position. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet. And no surprise, the crowd responds in cut. The crowd just loves the oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh! Heard it again. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. And now another being thrown on both sides. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Beautiful punch lands. Under a minute to go in the round. Try to separate from the clinch now. Effective with the jab. Oh. oh, man, he's hurt. Oh, what a kick. Nice shot by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. 20 seconds to go round two. Pretty good jab there by Emelianenko. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Two oh, rounds yeah. in the books. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot, got the knockdown. You have to be feeling good as he walks back to the corner. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. 
But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. You ready? You ready? Third Go. round underway. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Well, that strike landed cleanly. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Nice block. Nasty high kick. How is he still standing? Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. All right, so another nice strike to the thigh, some bruising starting to develop, and that could render his opponent a one-legged fighter here down the line. And it'll take some time. It'll take some time when you land it there. But trust me, when you can dead that leg with those leg kicks, you can really start to see your opponent having difficulties moving. Right now, we're at step one. Takes his back now. Busy as he looks to improve position here. A oh, hard ground strike there, and that one opened up a cut. This is a terrible position. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guy starts to attack triangle. Side control, side control. Posture's up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Nice positional control here. Good ground and pound here, and some swelling has now been caused on his opponent. And now he's got the bat. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Oh, that's getting in deep now. That's real deep, John. He's got to be careful. Okay, he's got it. That's it. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Lands with the ground and pound. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. All right, well, he told us in the fighter meeting he didn't want to be known for his toughness. And yet again, here we are talking about him absorbing a bunch of damage to that thought. Well, he's having to rely on it. Once again, it's become his calling card. And when you are known to be tough, that's a problem. You got to be more technical. Right now, he needs to find a way to change this fight. Because if he continues to play out the way that it has to this point, he's going to be in a ton of trouble right now. But now, ladies and gentlemen, I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Oh, right, it's a mount. 
All right, we told you we'd keep an eye on it, DC. That cut is starting to open up wider now, and he continues to target that area wisely. Well, when you saw it right away, it wasn't that bad. But as he continues to target it, you can start to see it opening up. Look for him to continue to go down that route to try to get this victory. Great job landing from the top position. This is tight. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. Hey, How stop. about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Go out the cut. End this fight. End it. Oh, straight punch. It's there again. He does everything so well. And he's so tall. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll. What an offering up over the top. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Block there. Fader on the ankle gets the double leg takedown now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. Fast jab lands there. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best fighters in the UFC. Yet again, rinse and repeat, targeting that swelling. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body. Oh, he's, the he's up. What's the mission defense on this play? Fedor Emelianenko gets back up here. Just out of range with that right hand. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this octagon. He has to understand that at any moment, if this thing goes out to the eye, the referee and the commission will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware, keeping the hands up and blocking, making sure to minimize the damage to that already cut eye. Big double leg left change. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Side control now. Now he's going full mode. Quick hip movement there, and he does indeed get back to his feet. Nicely done. Whiffs on the elbow. Connection oh, by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test. Oh, a big right hand. He does a great job getting out of that clinch position. Fedor Emelianenko's really bleeding now. That cut is only getting worse. Another Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. The right.
right hand just misses. Thunderous leg kick grounds his opponent. Went for a little bit, trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. 45 seconds remaining. Whoa! Oh, landed some big shots, too. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Oh, countering, it looks like, with a bad flu choke. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Side control, he's pretty safe there. Ten seconds remaining in round four. Garth, yep, he's trying to get Garth here. I think he's got it, it's deep. Oh, oh and there's the horn at the end of the round, so the fighter was really caught in the submission there, just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So, back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively, or that cut is just gonna get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Oh, he lands another huge leg kick downstairs. Lord have mercy, man. This could be the beginning of the year. John, it's time for his corner to start looking at stopping this fight. He has taken far too many of these leg kicks. Oh, really? You oh! Adjustment soon. Let's go. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Gets back to his feet. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. While this one is coming down to the wire, this has been so action-packed. I'm going to stand up and call the rest of this fight. I hope nobody is behind me. This has been insane. I mean, it's unbelievable that we've still been sitting the whole time. Multiple times, you want to jump out of your seat because these guys are putting on such a fantastic fight. Checks the leg kick. All right, time to go to the gas station, TC. These fighters are cooked, my man. They have thrown every ball. Oh, it's been gone. Oh. another kick. Johnny hurt bad. He's hurt really, really bad now. With John that off it. Full guard now, DC. The fighter. Oh, and he locks up a triangle now. You set off the top. His go-to submission looks pretty tight to me. Oh, and if he's got you in there, then you know that you're in a lot of trouble. He's starting to shift the arm across. If he gets the cross, he's going to start pulling down on the head. Really getting the squeeze and trying to get the submission victory. In the half guard. 
Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Well, this fight has been absolutely crazy. Both fighters continuing to target the head and the face of the other. I feel like we're gonna get like an ambulance pick with these two guys later today. Yeah, they are both beat up. They are both unwilling to take a step back. They are both wearing the damage, but both okay with it in order to have a good front fight. That guillotine is tight. He's really working hard for his guillotine, but he can't pull out his arms. He's got to make sure it's in here. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. That eye's starting to close. Full side control now. Oh, you got to love the ground and pound strikes here. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Oh, tight submission attempt now with the Ghost. Oh, it's getting very, very deep. Oh, he got out. He cleared his leg, got back to his back, and created some space between him and his opponent to stay out of that door shirt. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Oh, oh man, DC, he would appear to be in real trouble. Oh, man, I mean, headshots they are not, but that calf is taking an absolute beating. This is hard to watch. It's hard to watch. It's hard to see a guy so limited in his defenses and not have the ability to do much to change it. We got to look for this fight to be finished here pretty soon. Oh, what a finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 48-46, 47-46, and 47-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, El Guapo! All right, so there he is, the celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you gotta feel good about that. You gotta feel good about dominating every aspect